So you're looking to get Blazing Sunrink in the first three challenges of the Hunting Grounds, but hurting these damn robot elk, caribou, moose, whatever you call them, are giving you some serious trouble? Don't worry guys, we're going to take a quick look at how you can ace these first challenges without having to pull your hair out. Now achieving at least the middle rank in all three of these will allow you to enter an area called the Hunter's Lodge later in the game, so why push for Blazing Sun rank? Aside from the glory of completing the challenge, you'll receive an extra skill point, a good amount of experience, as well as a nice resource box to keep you topped up moving forward. Now let's see where these hunting grounds are. Once you're done with the proving and you're leaving the embrace through the gate, it's going to be right after this gate and there will be a helpful NPC that will point the direction. Now once at the hunting grounds, you're going to run into two NPC characters. One is a trader who can give you resources and weapons to complete these challenges, and the other one is called the Keeper. He's going to be the one that actually allows you to start the challenges, and he actually also has some information about each one that can really help you complete them if you're not sure what you're supposed to do. Test your skill with bow and arrow by shooting parts off the backs of grazers as quickly as possible. Now with this first challenge, it can be very easy to overthink it. The first time, first couple times actually, that I went through this, I was laying traps and trying to be creative and find like all the little different things I could do. To be honest, the best thing and quickest way to do this once you slide down that rope is to just start taking shots and then start following the herd. Now once you do take a few shots and take out those canisters, don't follow them directly. Uh, if you follow behind them, they're way too fast. So use the fact that this area is circular and cut them off. Find a good line of sight and just keep taking shots. There should be very little time where you don't have line of sight on these grazers. A little injured one there. Now as we can see, I have almost completed this challenge. We still have a good over 30 seconds before we're no longer in blazing sun. We didn't have to use any traps, any crazy bells and whistles. We just went down that rope and started shooting. And I do believe that is going to be the easiest way to complete this one. And with that one complete, we have our first Blazing Sun rank on our way to two. Now the second challenge is where things can get a little tricky. It introduces the idea of using environmental hazards to take out the grazers. This means that we're going to have to find out a way to get all of them to herd in the same direction so that instead of taking out one at a time with these log traps, we're going to be able to take out hopefully all of them by just using one trap. Now what I'm about to do is not completely necessary, I don't think, but it can help bottleneck the grazers so that they, you know, they stop, they get kind of hung up, and you can take more of them out. I'm going to put a few of these shock traps down right after the log trap so that they're going to hit these and the logs are going to fall onto, like, the pile up of grazers. Now after you've placed these, we're going to go to our friendly neighborhood rock. Now you're going to want to use this rock for not only this challenge, but the next one, because shooting at this rock is going to always funnel them towards that first alley that we just walked over. Just now I do make a few mistakes here. You are not able to shoot the back of the log trap to make it fall down. You have to shoot that front part. Um, this is where these electric traps came in great use because of my personal mistakes as well as that auto aim hit on the grazer. So we shot that second log trap. They were all bottlenecked and stopped because of each other, uh, like collision. And we took them all out with one trap. That is, that is, at least for me, probably the easiest way to do it. Uh, electric trap, shoot that rock with the explosive ball, and then once they're all bottlenecked, make that trap fall down right on top of them. And with that, we have our second Blazing Sun rank 
Guys, all we need is one more, and then we've got it. Here's your blazing sun. I'm ashamed to admit I've never won one myself. Maybe you would have won one if you followed these steps. Who knows, Mr. Keeper? Who knows? But for right now, we are better than you. Use your blast wire and Karja Tripcaster to bring down grazers. I'll be timing you. Explosions scare them, so you may want to use your blast sling to drive them into your traps. Now, the Keeper is not joking here, so we are going to basically take the exact same steps that we used in the second challenge straight over to the third. Except instead of using electric wire, we're going to use blast wire. Now, if this is the first time that you're buying the Karja Tripcaster that allows you to use blast wire, you're going to have a small issue where you're only able to hold, I believe, it's four shots. An easy workaround for this, though, is going to be buy the extra resources so that once you're in the challenge, you can create the extra wires while you're down there. So here we go. Same steps as that second challenge, except now we don't have to use the logs. I actually, I find this part a little easier than that second challenge. There's a lot less luck involved with how the logs fall. So we're just going to place six wires down, one for each of the grazers that we have to kill for the challenge. And then we're going to shoot that same neighborhood friendly rock to herd them right into this area. I was having a little issue trying to find out where I wanted to place that sixth wire. I actually still don't know if a one wire can cause another one to explode prematurely, um, so I was just trying to be careful there. But here we go. We're going to shoot this rock, and then we actually are done with the challenge. There's no extra steps we need to take for this one to be completed. And there they go. The one extra step I do take, however, just because I was unsure, was I place an extra bomb wire behind the herd, because once before, when they were running through, they actually got spooked and turned back around and started running the other way. So if you want to double check and just be safe, put one more extra wire there to take out that sixth, just in case you need it. And with that, we're done. We can celebrate by dancing on the, the bodies of our enemies. And we have completed all Blazing Sun ranks in this first hunting grounds. Guys, I've been Toby One. Enjoy those boxes. Enjoy that extra skill point. I'll be making more of these hunting grounds these videos to kind of help with the other sections. And always, as always, like, comment, subscribe. I will see you on the next one. Have a good day.